when we first won, heard, heard we'd won Ag Town up at Mount Barker, we were very ecstatic about what was going on. It's been, for them, a really long journey since then, however. Within a few days, it started to dawn on us and communion we were going to have this really big challenge. The news comes through that Michael on reclaimed areas has become flooded. We, we had an idea when we, it would arrive at Maipo and Wall Flat, Tura. Uh, unfortunately, it did eventually get here, and when it, it came, it burst the uh, banks uh, that generally hold the uh, water on the, on the side of the river and allowed the inundation of the uh, reclaimed swamps, which is uh, perfect pasture land for us. Yeah, the dairy farming, beef farming community on the pastures were the most affected. There was other uh, people, including horse, horses and others, that were affected to some extent and had to relocate um, their, their stock. Uh, the water basically made it to the, the, what we call the bottom road along all of the districts uh, and sometimes even went over that. Farmers who've been dairy farmers still or had lot stock on the floodplain started to look at where they were going to stick those animals during the flooding. You know, some farmers sold their animals, some others found adjustment for them and people such as the uh, Buffalo Dairy Farm found another property to run his operations on. So 100% of our farm has been underwater since, well basically after Boxing Day night when the bank broke. Um, yeah, the next day the water came across and yeah, currently 50% of the farm is probably still underwater and we're in the process of dewatering. It's not just a flood that comes on through and goes, um, it hangs around and we need to pump it back into the river. The community has been amazing. Um, from people just offering me paddocks to put groups of buffalo, like young stock, to a another dairy farmer offered me to use his dairy. And yeah, just everyone willing, sending a message to say if you need a hand. Uh, when school started in the beginning of 2023, there was a, a new setup done, uh, created to allow for the school tra traffic uh, within the within the Mike Longer Township community and just those sort of things, everyone just went beyond beyond what uh, you'd expect them to. I think whenever there's a, you know, a terrible disaster and the floods are the most recent example, we do get to see people really shine through with their community spirit. It sounds a little bit like a cliche, but it's absolutely accurate. Um, here at MIPO, you could see how people have banded together, how they're helping neighbours out. Of course, the Act Hound of the Year was announced well before the floods. Uh, and that spirit was recognised even then in what people had done within this local area uh, to be able to pull together to uh, really promote their area to be innovative. I think they've had a fantastic spirit and vibe. You know, as Ken do, we'll fight this, we'll work through this, we'll, we'll make something work where we can. They weren't giving up, they weren't going to say, no, our business must fall over. Their, their spirit was, we need to continue because this flood's only for a short period of time. Very slow, <laughs> very long recovery. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's coming back and we're getting eager to get back on and to start reseeding paddocks. It's great to be back, in, back here with everyone from the community again to talk to everyone because we've all been pretty, you know, well, I've definitely been pretty busy the last four or five months keeping the business going. It's a, a lovely atmosphere inside there at the moment. Um, and people you know, able to smile, able to look, uh, not just at, at the past, and particularly the recent past and challenges, but towards the future, knowing that um, they've been through difficulties before and they're going to overcome these as well. Today is just the um, feel good event to forget about the flood for a bit. And from today onwards, I suppose, we, we start um, living the crown of the Ag Town of the Year award.